So today on TechnoDad Life, we have a very interesting video. We're going to be installing VMware inside of our Open Media Vault machine and then installing Ubuntu inside of the VMware inside of our Open Media Vault machine. And so that way we can uh, run VMs inside of our Open Media Vault server. And as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, so let's install VirtualBox. So if you haven't already, install OVM Extras, and I'll add a link up above to the video for that. Click Plugins, and then type in Virtual. There is the VirtualBox plugin. Click on that, Install, and yes, we want to install it. When that's done installing, click Close, and OK. And now if we scroll down, we see we have VirtualBox web service there, but it's not enabled or running. So we have to scroll down to our services, and there's our VirtualBox. We're going to click Enable and click Advanced Configuration. Uh, but before we do that, so we have to have some place for those folders to be. So if we go to our shared folders, uh, what we're going to do is add in a virtual fol folder. So that will be where the virtual box information will be. So you can see I have it added already. So here I'll show you how to do that. You simply click add, type in your name, uh, select a device, and it will create the path and make sure you put everyone and then click save. So now after you have your virtual folder, we're going to scroll down to SMMB and we're going to add that share to our SMB. And so here we can see uh, we have actually two virtual folders, uh, but how you would do that is click add and select the folder you wanna share. And so we'll say virtual folder public, guests allowed, enable permission inheritance, and then click save. And that will enable your virtual folder. And next go to your network and just see if you can find those folders. And so there we have our virtual folder and it's empty right now, so that's good. Now we'll go back to VirtualBox. We'll click enable and advanced configuration and click save. Oh, except for first we have to enable that virtual folder. And now we have to click Save. Next, we're going to click on PHP Virtual Machine. That brings up a new window. Just click Login. It's your admin and password. And so we're going to add a new virtual machine. And so we're going to click New. And this is going to be Ubuntu Server. And we're going to click down here, Ubuntu 64, click Next. We're going to leave that, and we're going to just click Create, and Next, and Dynamic, and Create. Okay, so now our server is ready, but now we're going to actually change a few options. So we're going to click on Settings. So we're going to leave General, OK. System, we're going to take off the floppy drive because we don't have one. Display, enable remote display if you don't have that already. So next what we're going to do is click on the optical drive. Choose disk. I created an ISO folder in my media folder and there's Ubuntu server. We're going to click OK. Audio we're going to turn off. Network is going to be bridged. We don't have to do anything with serial ports. We do want to enable USB and this only has USB 2. And we're going to click OK. And next we're going to click Start. And make sure it goes to our ISO. And click Start again. And so over here you can see now it's starting. And what we do, we have to do to actually go to that is just click on the 9000 here. And then Open. And Connect. And Yes. And now it's into our installation of Ubuntu. 
So once that's all installed, you're right at a Ubuntu login. Uh, so the only funny thing about this is if you uh, go to a smaller window, it doesn't actually show you the whole screen. So that was our quick and easy tutorial to how to set up a virtual machine in OpenMediaVault. If you find this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you check the links down below for more interesting stuff. And as always, have a great week and we'll see you next time.